Yeah, I mean, it was a great year for Archie, and I want to thank our colleagues around the world for what they did to deliver that performance. As you noted, our rev part was up 37%. Our profit was up 55% to $828 million with significant margin expansion. As you noted, the second half was stronger than the first half, getting close ahead of 2019 levels, which is exciting to see. And we increased our dividend by 10%. Did the 500 million share buyback, as you noted, and announced another $750 million buyback program. So a really great year. Very strong recovery in the U.S. coming into Europe. And again, China was behind 2019 levels still due to the lockdowns that took place there. But again, we're seeing business travel come back and leisure travel come back in China now that the restrictions have been lifted too. So a great year for IHG, really strong performance and very, very exciting to see what's happening across our business more broadly with our transformation and loyalty investments in technology. And the business is doing really, really well. Keith, I was talking to the largest travel company in China a couple of weeks back, and they were saying that they were seeing very short-term booking windows when it came to China at this stage. Just flesh out some of the trends that are unfolding there and how much visibility you have. Yeah, I was actually talking to my China team uh, just last week and talking to other CEOs in China right now, and it really feels like things are getting back to normal. Chinese New Year was very, very strong, only 10% behind 2019 levels, which is great to see. Um, and in terms of search demand, we're seeing it basically be at 2019 levels for international outbound travel. The challenge there, of course, is air capacity in China. It's only about 5 or 10% for international travel. But domestically, we're seeing very, very strong returns in terms of leisure and business travel. Keith, can I ask you about some of the, some of the broader issues I think that everybody's facing at the moment uh, that's in the leisure space? And one is recruitment and retention, and the other is salaries. How are your teams negotiating these challenges and to what extent are they still scars on reopening post the pandemic? You know, actually, staffing has been one of the real challenges facing the hospitality industry for the last two years. What was exciting to see in the jobs number in the U.S. a couple of weeks ago, the 517,000 jobs were created, 125,000 of those were in leisure and hospitality. So we're seeing people come back into the workforce. We're seeing people want to be in this industry and making, really seeing the fact that we have great, great growth potential going forward. Talk to us a little bit about the inflation in salaries, though, because I think we're all wondering, you know, how, how you retain labor at this point, given... Every survey we see uh, from any um, HR operation suggests that there's a high number of individuals who are looking at changing either careers or jobs at this point. We actually are seeing people come back into this industry. I think as basically some of the subsidies have been lifted as people have burned through some of their savings overall. And they're also seeing that this industry is a great place for career opportunities and for growth too. So again, a bit more challenged here in the UK due to the fact that most of our staff came from the EU, but very, very strong recovery in the US and across Asia Pacific in terms of staffing. And again, leisure is what's really, really exciting. We added a new brand this year, our Baristar Beachfront Resorts. We're seeing more and more people want to stay in hotel for leisure stays. So we expect a very, very strong 2023.